hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're gonna be making this cute card with a tag that is for the paper shelter challenge that you have to add a tag in your project i am using this beautiful new image from the paper shelter that it's called lotus fairy and it's absolutely adorable make sure that you go to the blog and it's gonna be down below in the um, description box so you can participate and the good thing is that you can participate with any image but if you participate with a paper shelter image you can earn a $30 gift certificate to the shop let's get started so for my project I am using these gorgeous papers this blue paper the cardstock I had in my stash and this beautiful a pattern paper it's from Echo Park and it's from this summer uh, mega pad 6x6 mega pad pack I am not sure if I am gonna be using the pink one the polka dot one and then I'm gonna be using this beautiful image again it's from the paper shelter I have printed her in different sizes because I am not sure exactly which size I want to put on my project at. I don't know if I want her like big or if I want her small in the middle, but uh, you can get her at the paper shelter. Okay, so for my main card, the base of my card, it's gonna be this beautiful blue cardstock and we are going to cut it at eight and a half by six and a half and this is the base of our car so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now so now what i'm gonna do with this piece is that we want to do some score lines so we are be able to cut a piece of car stuff that we're not going to need so on the six and a half side you're gonna go ahead and score at one inch and then on the eight and a half side you're gonna score at four and one quarter now we're gonna want to cut the little piece this little piece here on the front part you're gonna go ahead and cut that so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to fold my card making sure that I have that crease there and then I am going to cut that little rectangle on the bottom front piece just that little piece do not cut the other piece that is on the opposite page Here we have it you can just toss that little piece and you can save it for something I don't know <laughs> but now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna fold my card in half making sure that those lines are crisp but before I glue this down I am going to cut at an angle that little flap as you're gonna see me doing here that way it glues down better it just sits better and it doesn't show on the outside of my card and it doesn't hit the other side of the car I was having a little bit I don't know why I always have a little trouble when I have another piece of paper next to it <laughs> to cut at these uh, angles <laughs> but I managed to cut that so now we're gonna go ahead and cut the front of my card now for the front of my car I want to cut this at an angle because we're gonna make kind of like a pocket for our tag so from the bottom measure up two and three quarters of an inch and do a little mark right there at the two and three quarter inch mark Okay, now that I have made that little mark with my pencil, it's just so I can see where I'm going to cut. Uh, don't worry about that mark, you can just erase it later. So I'm gonna go ahead and from that 
corner that I just mark at the two and three quarter inch mark, I am gonna cut all the way to the edge of my card to the, like a diagonal line from that little mark to the other. And you should have this triangle piece left over that you can just toss or you can use it for another project. And then I'm just going to erase my little lines with my eraser and nobody even is gonna notice that I made that line there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I am going to use score tape. You can use glue as well. Um, I'm using Stampin' Up! scoring tape, which is a really strong tape. Um, this is not a card that you're gonna be toggling with it a lot, like you're gonna be um, messing with it a lot. It's just to take that tag out so the person can read what it says. So I'm just putting a little bit of scoring tape here and I'm also going to add scoring tape to the side of my car to the piece that I have cut diagonally that has a diagonal cut on that side. I'm just gonna put a piece of score tape and then I'm just going to tape it together. Now when you're gonna tape these together, make sure that you leave kind of like a, a, an air pocket in the middle, kind of like a, like a pocket. <laughs> So you can put your car in with ease. You're gonna have like a little bump in the middle, as you can see here. And that's okay, that, it's, that is exactly what we want. So we can put our um, tag in there. Now it's time to decorate our little pocket. So for the front of this car, you're gonna wanna cut a piece of paper that is four by five and a quarter and this is the paper i have chosen for the the first uh, layer of paper that i'm going to put so go ahead and cut that at four by five and a quarter and then we're going to do a little bit of measuring to cut that angle again Now that I have my top paper, I am going to measure from the bottom up as we did with the card. You're gonna measure up to the two and five eighth inch mark. And then exactly like we did with the card, we're gonna go ahead and cut from that measure all the way to the other corner like you are going to see me do here. Now from this gorgeous flower paper, I am going to cut another piece that it's going to measure three and seven eighths by five. And then we're gonna also do a little diagonal cut and you're gonna measure from the bottom to the top on the five inch side, two and a half inches. And here's the part when I'm exactly doing that from the bottom up, I am measuring two and a half inches and I am gonna go ahead and mark it with my pencil and mark the other corner and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in a diagonal. So here are my papers together and I think I want to add a little bit of distress ink to these to do a little to add a little some something else to add some depth to this card or something. And I'm going to be using this spoon sugar distress distress oxide uh, ink and with my dabber I'm just going to go around my papers and then I'm going to just um, glue it down with double sided tape and let's speed this up until we get there. Okay, 
So now that our pocket is done, we now have to create our tag. If you have a tag that is perfect for, for this size, then go ahead and use that tag. But I didn't have any and I will make my own. <laughs> so here I am cutting. My tag is three and three quarters by five and three eighths. So here is my tag, my piece of paper, what's gonna be my tag. I'm just making sure that it fits nicely. And now we're gonna cut on the sides a little slant to make it look like a tag. And for this, you're going to measure again from the bottom four and three eighths of an inch, right there, you're gonna make a little mark. And then from the side, from the five and three eighths side to the other side, you're gonna measure one inch right at the three and three quarters side. You're gonna see me do that here. I'm right now measuring on that three and three quarters side, one inch in. And I am gonna cut again in that diagonal from corner to corner that I marked. Now when you cut that piece, you're gonna be left with this little triangle and the easiest thing is just flip it to the other side and just with your scissors, snip it and then you're gonna have your tag. Then you can open a hole right in the middle of your tag with a punch hole um, tool. And I just use the tool that I have for homeschooling my kids to, to uh, open holes in papers and stuff. So just use that and you are set. Now for this tag, I am going to add some of the papers that I use for the outside of my card to make it more fun and it just looks prettier. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I don't like playing. <laughs> I tend to use a lot of papers and a lot of embellishments and I just love it. So here I am gonna go ahead and cut these uh my, my my bottom paper like the first paper that i'm gonna use it's gonna measure three and three quarters by one and my second one is gonna measure three and five eighths by seven eighths and like i did with the outside of my car i'm also gonna do with these papers and i'm gonna go ahead and distress the borders with the same spoon sugar distress ink Here is my tag and I'm just gonna put it inside my pocket making sure that it fits well. And after this, I think I am going to add a sentiment to that uh, tag and my ribbon. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and decorate the outside of this tag. You can use any stamp that you want, but I Hyper shelter, their images are so beautiful. And I am going to use this nested scallop die. And I am going to see which of the fairies fits better. So this fairy, it's the one that I am choosing. So I'm gonna go ahead and color her and be right back. And here she is, look how cute, oh my goodness. And then the background, I added these clouds with this stress ink. I used this tumble glass one. And I have made uh, an stencil, I guess. I just cut a shape of clouds. I love adding these to my images and grass and all that jazz. <laughs> so with my dabber, I just go around it and position, you know, wherever I want clouds. And that's what how I manage this background. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut this beauty.
now with some dimensional tape i am going to add some to the back of my image so she is raised from my main car or from my pocket so i'm gonna go ahead and do that here i'm just adding like three pieces of dimensional tape i actually added a piece to the actual card because i wanted to make sure that i was not adding it too high up on my image and it was gonna stick to my tag now for my tag i am going to add this sentiment that says enjoy the little things in life i am using a stamping up um, ink it is gray the color gray and i'm gonna add it right in the middle and if you want you can like sign your name you know put a little message there for the person you're giving it to i added some twine to my tag and this is how it looks like i am cutting more that twine i think i put too much and it looks too big for the card so i'm just gonna trim it a little bit and i think i want to add some shine and i have these little gems from stamping up as well that i am going to add to the side here they are they're super cute they're super iridescent in person so just with my tweezers i'm gonna go ahead and add three little gems to the side of my car and it'll be finished and here it is i love how this turned out thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you hit that subscribe button and make sure that you follow the paper shelter and you go and participate in this week's challenge that you need to add a tag to your project until next time guys happy crafting